Hi everyone, this is Gregor for Personas. Uh, today I want to show you some of the cool new tape stop and tape start effects you can do in Studio One 5 thanks to our brand new time stretch tape algorithm. Just like on an old tape machine, it decouples the time stretching from the pitching, so as something becomes slower through time stretching, it also becomes lower in pitch and vice versa. Let's check it out. So the first creative use case of time stretch tape would be to achieve the classic tape start or tape stop effect. So let's say that on this drum fill at um, 1.4, right before bar 2, I kind of want to, you know, get started with that classic effect of a tape reel spinning, getting faster and at the same time increasing in pitch. We can actually do this now in Studio One and it's incredibly easy. Let me show you. So you just select all of the tracks that you want to affect and then you open up the track inspector by clicking on the I symbol here. You can also hit F4. And then you want to make sure that you're on tempo mode time stretch and set the time stretch algorithm to tape. Once we've done that, we're going to open up the tempo track over here and we want to add a tempo node to bar 2 because this is exactly where we want to go or resume with the original song BPM. But before that, I actually want to uh, create that effect of the tape reel spinning up. So instead of 76, I want to go much lower than that. And because my minimum is currently set to 70, let me just decrease that really quick because otherwise we only get a ramp of 6 BPM, which wouldn't make for a very drastic effect. So let's maybe go to 30 and then reduce this by maybe 40 BPM or so. So let me put that to 36 and let's uh, see what that sounds like then. Cool, yeah, I can also, of course, um, adjust this curve completely to my liking, you know, make it a bit more uh, gradual and then more exponential as we're getting closer to bar two, like so. As you can hear, there's really a lot of cool possibilities. Also, for example, you could work with reverse. So just select these and then go to audio and reverse audio. It's also a really cool effect in my opinion. Right, that's pretty dope. Okay, so in this example here, I want to show you some more creative use cases with time stretch tape because it also works when you're working with bent markers and the time stretch tool in Studio One. Let me show you. So this is what we got. And what I would like to do on this particular synth part is to have the pitch go up and down as I'm uh, making certain sections faster or slower for some really cool effects, again, especially when combined with reverse audio. So to do that, first of all, I opened up the track inspector once again and I set time stretch mode to tape. And then I wanna activate the smart tool, which essentially allows me to link the arrow and the range tool, the range tool being active in the upper track area and the selection or arrow tool being active in the lower area. And this enables me to have a very fast workflow when I'm selecting and splitting events, exactly what I wanna do here. So let me just make a couple of selections, maybe this one and this one and maybe this. And using the time stretch tool, the bend tool, which you can access by holding down Option on a Mac or Alt on a Windows PC, we can essentially make these parts faster or slower. And thanks to time stretch tape, this will also repitch them, which makes for some really cool and creative effects. This works especially great when you have the no overlaps when editing events option enabled. This makes this workflow super good and super fast. Um, maybe you just want to slip the content around a bit by holding down option and command on a Mac or control and alt on the Windows PC and just fill the gaps a tiny bit and very quickly you'll see that we end up with some very interesting repitches um, in addition to the change timings. And this is also, again, very, very cool when working with uh, reverse effects. 
I could see this one being reversed. Uh, that could be kind of cool. Or maybe the one prior to that. Or maybe I only want to reverse here and then uh, unreverse essentially over here. And of course, the same thing would work with bend markers. So I could also, um, you know, show bend markers like that and then either go to the audio bend menu, analyze the bend markers using the threshold to adjust the amount, or I can simply draw in my own if I please. And uh, all of these would also be affected by time stretch tape, meaning that the sections that I make longer will actually go down in pitch as they become slower and vice versa, become higher in pitch as I'm going faster. So definitely try it out. There's tons of ways you can utilize time stretch tape to get some really creative results. Have some fun and enjoy making music.